Arctic cold blast ripped through New Zealand's North Island, Napier and Hawke's Bay, areas that rarely get snow. Feet and feet of snow. They only get snow just a couple of inches every 15 years or so. Not used to it, especially this depth and conditions drifting everywhere, meters deep. Extremely gusty and at 195 kilometer per hour winds. How can the media even say that? That is typhoon force winds. These same winds downing power lines throughout Hawks Bay area. Thousands without power. Farmers with cattle freezing to death, milking sheds collapsing, no electricity. And then the entire electrical demand, because it was so cold, was up 15 gigawatts. Snow so rare in that area, they actually trucked it further north so the students could touch it and feel it. Canterbury Plains on the South Island, snow across the fields. Lest we forget last year, Queenstown, record cold as well. Seems like it's heat, becoming... But the rising mercury is not our only problem. Yeah, if you love spinach or sweet corn in the summertime, you may have noticed a lack of rain. In fact, right now, Northeast Ohio is officially in a drought. Well, all of Northeast Ohio ranges from abnormally dry to moderate drought conditions, and it's not just our front lawns that are feeling it. Drought continues in western New York, and landscapers are paying the price. News Force Andrew Christopher. I'm only 28 years old, so it's. I can't remember it being this dry ever. It's the worst drought to hit South Africa in three decades. And millions of people are affected. Extreme weather conditions such as drought and floods have increased in frequency and severity in recent years. Good evening, I'm Rena Nine, and at least two people are dead as historic floods slam the deep south. At least two people have died and more than a thousand have been rescued from what is being called unprecedented historic flooding. Rains flooded out businesses and entire neighborhoods. Motorists abandoned their vehicles and homeowners were forced to evacuate. My house is completely flooded and I've never flooded before. Since last night, more than 16 inches of rain has fallen, causing several rivers to overflow. Nearly 70 roads have been closed. died as record flooding hit parts of Louisiana this weekend. A slow-moving storm heading westward is expected to dump even more rain on the Gulf states over the next two days. First responders have rescued more than 7,000 people from their homes and vehicles, including this man, who reportedly went around a road closure and became trapped by floodwaters when his truck was washed off a highway. He spent more than eight hours waiting to be rescued. Um, I was standing on the roof of my truck and I was about up to my waist in water and the current was really strong so I was holding on to some branches, yeah. I didn't know what to expect. Uh, a lot of debris kept floating by me and hitting me and stuff and 
I thought the current was so bad last night for a while because of the rain. I thought I was I thought I was gone for a minute. Over 500 pets have also been rescued from the flood area. Unbelievable. Louisiana Governor John Bell Edwards, who declared a state of emergency on Friday, flew over several parishes Saturday to view the damage. Some areas have seen more than a foot of rainfall, and officials are unable to predict how severe the flooding could get.